Hey, hi there guys. So my name's Ashley. I'm the faculty head of STEM at Wilberforce College and I'm here to talk to you a little bit about A-level biology today. Now obviously it'd be great to have you on site so we could do some dissections and practical experiments with you guys uh, but unfortunately that's not the case today. We're going to have to do it remotely but we can still get across what A-level biology is all about and why yourself or if you're a parent your son or daughter may be encountering when they study this fascinating subject. Now on this first slide you can see we've got a few of the field trips we've offered recently. We've got Farley Brig on the left where we take students to to the beach to Farley Brig and we, we do some random sampling, some systematic sampling, rock pooling, looking for different species. That's a trip we run every year. Now the one in the middle is when we go to Lincoln University and students compete to, to carry out practical investigations in the picture there, you can see that they're competing to extract the purest sample of DNA possible. Now, on the right hand side, that was an exhibition we went to where we're looking at the anatomy of animals, of, of organisms. And actually, that is a real African elephant you can see in the picture there, showing its, its internal muscular, muscular structure and its skeleton. Now, why Wilberforce College for A-level biology? Well, we get fantastic results with our learners. We've had 100% pass rates for years and we were ranked top 5% in the country for value added, which means our students, they achieve very well compared to the grades they come to Wilberforce College with. Now, in addition to that, 82% of our students achieved grades A star to C. And that's, you know, that's fantastic. I was so proud of the students for that. And it, it really is owing to, to the hard work they put in and the inspiring atmosphere that they, they come and get involved in. So yeah, great stuff there. Now, continuing on with that, we do ask for some great results when students come and join us. We ask for a, a GCSE score of 5.3 or above. Now that's an average of all of their grades. We also ask for a five or above in maths and a five or above in GCSE science. That's just so that you have the best shot possible of finding success on A-level biology. Now, don't worry if, if you don't get those grades, there are other pathways available and we can talk about a bit more about those in a later presentation. How does biology take our students then? Well, typically students who come and do A-level biology are, are, are interested in science or biology and it can take routes such as medicine, biomedical science. Now that's a, a really key one. We've had a number of students go and study biomedical science at, at Hull University, Lincoln University and further afield as well. We have students looking to do natural science at Oxbridge, Oxford or Cambridge. We have students looking to go to Leeds University, for example, to study zoology. We had one of our, our students who achieved A stars go and do that at Leeds University and they were really successful there. They also typically go and, and study pure biology as well. If you're not sure how you want to specialise, you're not sure whether you want to do more of a biomedical route, more of a biochemical route, then straight biology is a fantastic way to do a range of modules in the field of biology and, and find where you want to specialise at a later stage. If, for example, you know you want to work with animals, uh, we had a stu two students last year who went on to do zoology and they were they were certain they wanted to, to work in the field of, of zoology so so that was a great great move for them we also have students go on to do biochemistry marine biology veterinary science nursing dentistry the list kind of goes on and on biology has so many transferable skills such as analyzing data being able to to problem solve being able to work part as part of a team during practical investigations and group work the list is endless there are so many employment routes and university options that really see A-level biology as a, a key strength. It's one of the four natural sciences and it's looked on quite favourably by, by employers, apprenticeships, universities. Typically though, the vast majority of our students do go on to study uni at, at university if they do A-level biology. That's typically the route there. Now, what will you study with A-level biology? Well, we have eight topics spread throughout two years and these topics are fascinating. We run the AQA A-level biology specification and there's some really interesting content covered. We start off with biological molecules. Now that is going to be the basis for the entire course. Okay, It's only an eighth of the course but it's an important eighth 
because that's going to really allow you to understand chemical structures, molecular structures, and and really understand the fun fundamental things that are needed to then learn about things like the heart, the lungs, the human body, animals, plants, evolution, things of that nature. And in biological molecules, there's four key biological molecules that you'll encounter. We've got carbohydrates, proteins, lipids, and nucleic acids. They're the four we deal with. And you'll learn how they, they bond and break down and, and interact. The second topic is cells. Now, the cells topic is going to be covering the immune system, red blood cells, animal cells, plant cells. And it's going to have a lot of information about microscopy, including electron microscopy. So it's a really fascinating unit there. We'll also touch on some key issues like cancer, bacterial division and viral uh, replication as well. Now, topic three is organisms exchange substances with their environment. So here we're going to be looking at how organisms exchange oxygen with the atmosphere, how they obtain oxygen for aerobic respiration and release carbon dioxide as a, a waste product, although it may be a waste product for the, the animal or the cell in question. Plants obviously use that in the process of photosynthesis, so it's, it's key there. We'll look at things like how fish exchange oxygen so they can use that for aerobic respiration. Uh, we'll be looking at their gills, we'll be doing dissections of the fish, we'll be doing dissections of the heart, dissections of the lungs, we'll be looking at the structure of arteries, veins and capillaries. We'll even look at how insects exchange oxygen with their environment and they have tiny holes in the side of their body where oxygen can enter called spiracles and it's, it's a fascinating subject that's one of my favorite units of the entire course. Number four we have genetic information variation and relationships between organisms so here you're going to be looking at evolution you're going to be looking at the genetic code you're going to be looking at how scientists classify organisms using a, a hierarchy. You're also going to be looking at DNA hybridization to show how closely linked humans are to some of our closest ancestors and some of our closest species on the planet, such as chimpanzees and gorillas. Now, those first four units will take the entire first year. Now, in year two, you'll be doing four, four more units, starting with energy transfers. Now, in the energy transfers units, you'll start doing photosynthesis, and you'll be learning about photosynthesis in tons of detail, way more detail than you will have learned about it at school. You'll be doing respiration and again it will blow your mind how much detail has been missed out at GCSE. The GCSE level of, of respiration and photosynthesis really are just a short summary and we're going to be going in depth there and there's some really interesting chemical reactions and, and science behind that. Students typically enjoy that unit. Um, you're also going to be looking at food chains, food webs, pyramids of biomass, pyramids of numbers, we're even going to make our own pyramids of numbers by going out in the field and, and taking samples. Now, unit six, we've got organisms responding to changes in their internal and external environments. Now, here we're going to be looking at you know, how do we sense things using our eyes, using our, our nervous system? How are we aware of the world around us? We're going to be looking in detail at the human eye and how that allows us to produce an image in our mind. We're going to be looking at insects and how they respond to changes in their environment. And we're also going to be covering things like reflexes and muscles, you know, we know that muscles contract, but how do they contract? And that's a unit where we'll really be covering that. Now, in topic seven, we're going to be looking at genetics from a more of a population standpoint. So we're going to be doing some statistics here and looking at how we might be able to predict the number of, of, of individuals in a population that have a certain genotype or genetic code. We're really going to be digging deeper on evolution, building on what we did in unit four. And we're going to be looking at ecosystems as well. And finally, number eight, we're going to be looking at some real cutting edge research in genetic engineering and gene expression. And we're actually going to do an experiment where we genetically modify bacteria by inserting jellyfish genes into their genome. And they will then, in fact, glow in the dark. So, yeah, really interesting course. We get fantastic results. We'd love to have you in today, but unfortunately, that's not a possibility. And if you're watching this remotely, hopefully we will. We will see you again in the future and we'll have a chance to show you our, our fantastic facilities and our, our passionate staff. Now, Wilberforce, as you will have seen in some of the other presentations today, it is a it's fantastic college. It is top, top rated top 10 percent in the UK and we've been getting better and better results each year. So I hope you consider us, guys. Thank you very much for our time. 
This PowerPoint will be available from the college website and we've also got our promo video that you'll be able to watch as well. OK, guys, take care and bye bye. Thank you.